Today I learned what weaponized incompetence is and realized what I was going Rio with my ex. He would tell me to write him lists of things he needed to do. His favorite sentence was but you're just so much better at it than I am. You do it. He was always getting things wrong in a hope I just wouldn't ask him to do it anymore. So, one day, I stopped playing into it and let him be incompetent. He would ask me where things were. I'd always say I didn't know. He told me to go to the DR because I must have a memory problem or something. He would always immediately find it after declaring I needed psychological help. He forgot to take the wet washing out of the machine so it just sat in there festering. He asked where his shirt for work was, I said I don't know, he flipped his shit when he realized it was still in the machine. I simply said, that I didn't put the machine on so I didn't know it was in there. Whenever he cooked he made sure it tasted awful. I sat there and ate it like a champ and said how good it tasted and he should make it for when his parents came to visit. He left his shoes and bag in the hall, right in the way, when his parents came over his dad tripped over his bag and broke his nose on the radiator. When they asked why the bag was there I just looked at him and said that's your bag isnt it. He agreed to pick up his niece from school by that he meant I would pick her up. He didn't show up and I was at work. He called me screaming because his niece hadn't been picked up. When I asked him why he agreed to pick her up if he never intended to he had no answer. He purposely put cups and dishes the wrong way in the dishwasher meaning they filled with water. I just take them out and put them away and told him I'm sure it's fine. The final straw was when he ordered take out. He usually ordered something I didn't like because he knew I would just give it to him. The first time he did it, I ate it anyway. He was pissed. The second time, he ordered something he knows I'm allergic to. As soon as I opened the box I could feel myself swelling. But I sat down with him and went to take a bite. He screamed and hit the fork away what are you doing? Me eating dinner? Why, it's not poisoned is it? It was at that point he confessed he bought me something I was allergic to because he was fed up of me not caving to his pretend incompetence. We broke up that night and he was even more pissed off. What's your weaponized incompetent stories? My man literally poisoned you out of anger. What the fuck? My ex-husband broke three lawn mowers so I would take over mowing the lawn. He put a second load into the dryer without removing the one that was already in there and broke the dryer. Honestly I could probably list a million things but it's just too depressing. My older brother is like this and I can see my younger brother being raised the exact same now by my parents. He's 21, yeah not little, a fucking adult, and he's never once been to a grocery store to shop for himself. Because according to my mom how will he know how to buy the groceries? How will he know how to put the card in? He doesn't know how to do that. I'll do it. Fucking hell. How hard can it be? He doesn't have a driver's license. Never been employed. Never been to college. She raised him to be disabled when he's not. His girlfriend someday is definitely going to be feeling this. Wow, thank goodness he drew the line at murder, I'm glad you left him. Good job. He was fed up of me not caving to his pretend incompetence. You? I'm so sorry you had to deal with him, but those stories are amazing. I've been accused of weaponized incompetence by my wife specifically folding but eventually she realized I'm happy to fold clothes, I'm just legitimately bad at it. I always believed it was real, but had no idea it actually got to this point. Fuck that guy. You're brilliant. Although the allergy bit was alarming. I love that you made him suffer his own consequences instead of just doing it yourself. That was so satisfying to read. That said I'm sorry you had to play mommy at the detriment to yourself. This is an amazing story and I aspire to have a fraction your level of calm commitment. Happened when you gave him your takeout? Do you just starve? Seems kinda abusive. What a prick. I wish him no good days ever. 
To the people who keep asking OP why didn't you just leave it's not always that simple to leave an abusive relationship. Sometimes you are financially dependent on your abuser. Sometimes there are children involved. Sometimes they've cut you off from friends and family and you have nowhere else to go. Not to mention trying to leave can be dangerous, even deadly. My abusive ex was like this. Doesn't know how to do his laundry so I'd have to do it for him. Doesn't know how to cook. Barely knows how to wipe his own ass, doesn't wash his hands after using the bathroom. He's now living with his mom who is doing all of those things for him again. I cut him off and all of my friends hate him and it's great. Proud of you for not putting up with his bullshit anymore. I have male co-workers that do the same thing at work so they don't have to do any work. They walk around being so dizzy. So now I'm showing them exactly what a dizzy bitch's winking face work taking all day to get how to do it smirking face. You defeated him at his own game by pretending his pretend incompetence was competence. More power to you. No stories here, but I was literally just talking about this weaponized incompetence with my partner. I am a couples therapist and heard a client talk about it, and I've been seeing it more, including this post. I am not sure if it is a newish term or a Bader Mainhoff phenomenon where I'm just noticing it more now that I'm aware of it. OP or anyone, do you happen to know? That man literally was trying to kill you. He was trying to poison you and was disappointed the food is not killing you WTF face without mouth. He moved to my country and refused to learn English for 10 years until I divorced him. Now all of a sudden he's Mr. Literate. Love it. Well done. You have a mind of steel, wow. I wouldn't be able to do the washer machine one, I can't handle that mildew smell. You're braver than me. I hate him. This is the best thing I've ever read. I too say I don't know when my husband asks where something is. Even though I know it's middle shelf behind the ketchup. Difference is my husband isn't a complete fuck nut like your ex. He has ADHD so it's more like put in the work bud and you'll find it. Holy shit. You're a badass for committing to that after identifying it I guess that shows that it can be made to backfire. Did he actually admit to getting things wrong on purpose? If so how could he not realize how cruel that is? Wish I was a fly on the wall for that conversation. Intentionally ruining dinner? That's sociopathic. I would go back to the restaurant if my partner didn't want their food and would let me go. Jesus. Christ. So glad you are out of there. He tried to poison your body because you didn't play made for him. My God's in the heavens, he was going to kill you over his pettiness? Good on you for finally breaking up. He should never be allowed to have a partner if he's going to do the same thing. Fucking manchild. The last six years of my relations hit with my kid's father, weaponized incompetence with child care, cleaning, knowing out disabled daughter's DR's names. Appointments. Everything he does is half-assed. I'm. Done. How long did this go on for? Hope you're doing much better, OP. How long did this go on for? Brilliant fighting fire with fire. Wish I'd thought of that with my ex. Edit why the down vote? I was being supportive. Oh my goodness. Was my husband like this? Did he act like that on purpose? His answer to everything. I don't know how to do that. I am absolutely amazed by the confession. How does that go? Did he admit he tried to kill you? He was fed up and thought yep this is the way to end the issue? Was it supposed to be a threat? The sheer evil of it. I'm so glad you're out and okay, OP. OP, PLS don't go back and block and document his ass. What a fucking psychopath. You made him own his shit. Best post I've read in a while. Thanks. You are my hero, and have an iron will.